It's Monday, the 26th of July. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel here at Air Venture Oshkosh 2021 with a quick update on the tragic loss of Dale Snort Snodgrass, famous naval aviator, last Saturday out of Lewiston, Idaho. Out of Lewiston, Idaho, about noon, Snort was departing in a Cy Marchetti 1019 aircraft. And the crash happened on takeoff. The aircraft, the Cy Marchetti, is a design based on the Cessna Bird Dog design. Cessna Bird Dog loosely based on a Cessna 170 with a large engine, tandem seat arrangement. The Cy Marchetti, however, has a Allison turboprop engine. According to pilot eyewitnesses, the aircraft took off, climbed steeply under full power, stalled and spun in and the engine appeared to be under full power the whole time and of course the wreckage was right there near the runway there at Lewiston Idaho so investigators are going to be looking at several things on these takeoff stall spin deals was this pilot induced was the control lock uh, inadvertently left in the locked position was the uh, aircraft trimmed properly for departure? Of course, we don't know these answers right now, but this is what investigators will be looking at. Of course, Snort was a well-known and well-loved, famous naval aviator. He was the guy that did that knife edge pass and got that famous picture across the USS America. He was a Navy F-14 demo pilot for many years. He's well-known and loved in the Warbird circuit throughout the whole air show industry for his many years of uh, Warbird demos. Check out Ward Carroll's channel. He's got a nice 40 minute long presentation talking about the the, the life and the history of uh, Snort Snodgrass. Um, just a tragic, tragic loss. We don't know why the aircraft pitched up and stalled so suddenly on departure. I, I just want to remind everybody on these stole aircraft stol short takeoff or landing type aircraft i'm going to be uh, narrating the stole demonstration here at oshkosh all week to this week here at the ultralight field that show starts at 8 p.m when you're doing your short takeoff and landing demos or flights or any time you're operating these airplanes i highly recommend go ahead and do your short field takeoff but then lower the nose don't hang the thing on the propeller in an effort to demonstrate the maximum performance capability of the aircraft. Go ahead and once you get your short field takeoff, push your nose over and accelerate to something more like best rate of climb speed even instead of best angle of climb speed so you're not hanging it on the prop. Hanging it on the prop on departure is just setting yourself up. I've just, I've just lost too many friends that have had some kind of a hiccup or have stalled and spun the aircraft in on departure doing that maneuver. Landing, that's a little different story. You can you can hang it on the prop, on the, on the uh, stole type aircraft as much as you want because you're gonna hit the ground eventually in a survivable situation. But on takeoff, just don't do it. But we don't know what happened in the case, uh, in this case up in uh, Lewiston, Idaho. So. That's what we know so far. We'll let you know if we get any future updates on this accident. Meanwhile, come on out here to Air Venture 2021 and enjoy the show and fly safe. Thanks so much for your support of this channel, especially over here on Patreon that makes this content possible. See you here.